Hi, and welcome to AFSEC Israel 2017, the training day. This is the first time we're doing a training day like this. I think it's uh, uh, going to be really helpful. I think it's uh, um, could be very useful for you guys. Um, I'm just going to talk for a few minutes. I like to ramble on for a bit. Uh, and then I'm going to let uh, Shai take over. He's going to be your trainer for the day. So um, just letting you know some things, get some logistics out of the way. First of all, no food or drinks allowed in this room other than water. So keep your, drink your coffee outside and uh, don't bring it in. I get yelled at when people do that. Letting everybody know there are power out outlets under your seat when your laptop runs out, and it will. You'll need to charge. There are power outlets right underneath you. You can just bend down and plug in. Uh, as you can tell, we're talking in English. Uh, if that's a surprise for some people, I'm sorry. But uh, there are plenty of people to help translate if you have any problems with that. Uh, parking tickets. Anybody that parked here, yeah, we got a parking ticket. You can pay that any time during the day. It's best not to wait till the end so you know there's not a long line. Uh, everybody shoving in. Uh, if you're going to tweet, love for you guys to use the AppSecIL uh, hashtag, easier to find. Uh, sorry. Um, in case people don't know me, my name is Avi Douglin, just uh, to introduce myself. I am the chairman of uh, the OASP Israel chapter. Uh, I'll tell you what OASP is for anybody who doesn't know in a moment. Who here heard of OASP before you heard about the training day? Oh, okay, great. Most of you are familiar with it. For those that are not, I'll tell you what it is. Uh, I'm sure you all got spammed by me a little bit too much lately. Um, sorry, not sorry. Um, letting you know who I am, I'm a security researcher, consultant, etc. Uh, that's how I got into OWASP. Okay, if you ever want to buy me a drink, whiskey, beer, always useful. Um, comes with being in security, so you know. Um, hope you're all familiar with security.stack exchange, like Stack Overflow. I'm sure all of you are familiar with that. Security Stack Exchange is the same thing, but for security questions. Check that out. Um, yeah. I'm not the only one that runs it, uh, that sets everything up. We had a whole uh, chapter board uh, with me on the chapter board. Are, not all of us are here today, but we have Ofer Maur, uh, Or Katz. Where's Or? Raise your hand. There you go, Or Katz. Uh, Yossi, Oren, over there. Chabed, over there. There we go. Irene, I know, is not here. And, well, me, I'm a, a security ticker everywhere. Um, yeah, we'll carry on. Uh, other organizers, everybody's wearing a purple shirt today, so you'll be able to find us uh, very easily if you need anything. Uh, we also have Tiffany. Uh, I know where Sarah is. Sarah, raise your hand. Uh, if you need any help with anything, there you go. We also had a lot of other people uh, helping us with the conference this year. It was a much bigger event. Uh, so we had a lot of people helping us. and say thank you to everybody that helped us. Eris Matula, uh, Ian, Iftah, people know him as, Guy, Karen, Shira, uh, and Eagle and Tomer. What's going on today? You're all here for security training, developer training, secure coding. That's what's going to happen. This is actually part of a wider initiative that the OWASP Global Foundation decided to um, expand and try to get, you know, they call this the OWASP World Tour. Uh, it's going on in several different locations. Last week was in uh, Boston. Uh, the week before that, I think, it was in, two weeks ago, it was, uh, uh, there was one in Tokyo. They had over 700 people there. Uh, huge success. Uh, the point of this, the reason that OWASP is funding this, is because that's our mission. Our mission is not to be a fun place for security people, it's to serve you, it's to serve the developers. The point, our mission as OWASP, is to create a more secure world, right? To get all the software more secured. Uh, this evening, uh, we're also having another mini event called WIA, Women in AppSec. It's women only. Uh, there'll be some uh, uh, a panel on careers and uh, some mentoring and a great uh, opportunity for networking. Uh, the reason we're doing this is because, as you all know, there's a lot of inequality and lack of diversity in our field. Um, actually, I think a little bit less in Israel than elsewhere, but it's still yeah, nowhere near it needs to be. So uh, hopefully this uh, mini event will help be able to uh, counteract that. Tomorrow, who's planning on coming tomorrow? Fantastic. For those of that you uh, are not coming, hopefully you probably never heard of it. Uh, just so you know, tomorrow is the main AppSec Israel conference. Okay, we're expecting over 700 people. Okay, there will be two tracks, 14 uh, amazing lectures, really advanced security, a lot of advanced topics, um, a lot of speakers. We're having a capture the flag competition, some amazing prizes. 
uh, a few uh, workshops going on tomorrow also, helping with uh, both with the topics in the Capture the Flag, and we're also doing for the first time a resume workshop. Anybody that wants help getting their resume updated um, or improved, so we're going to have people help you with that if you want to bring your resume and uh, help you with that. Also be an exhibition ground, a great place for swag, meeting uh, other companies in, in, in the field. Anybody that's looking for a job, many of our sponsors are looking to hire. Great place to talk to them. Okay, uh, I'm going to introduce you all to uh, Tiffany Lum. Okay, she's the community manager from uh, OWASP, and she has uh, she's going to tell you what OWASP is all about. Thanks, y'all. Yeah. Thanks, Avi. So, like Avi said, I'm the security manager for OWASP, and before we get started, I should tell you what that means. That means that it's my job to work with all of our amazing volunteers um, to help them achieve their goals. It's also my job to help our community become more communicative, to do our outreach. So if you have any of the questions about the people side of OWASP, I am definitely your person. I don't have a... So, um, I'd like to tell you a little bit about OWASP. We started a little over 10 years ago. Basically, a bunch of guys on a mailing list decided that our security was not working because people didn't actually know enough. There wasn't an organization that was helping push it, but more importantly, developers were stuck in this place where they didn't have the knowledge of security. So they were building something and it was awesome. And then about a month after they built it, a security person came in and had to say, hey, there's a lot of problems and we've got to fix them. And as you know, once you've stepped away from your code for even just a few hours, you kind of forget a little bit because we don't document as well as we could. And um, it takes hours and hours to try and fix that. And the idea behind OWASP, I'm actually gonna stand over here if you don't mind. Sorry. The idea behind OWASP was to make software security visible so that we could address these issues. Um, and we do this in a number of ways. So I'm gonna leave our mission up here for you to read for a moment because you don't need me to read it to you. Um, but OWASP is bifurcated. It's Basically, there are two things that we do to help the world. The first is we have projects. We have a ton of projects. We have 113 active projects that come in the form of documentation projects. For example, you're a developer. You need to know how to do secure logging for an app you're developing. Well, rather than spend three days researching it, we have one sheet that tells you everything you need to know. And then we also have, if you really get into secure logging for some reason, um, further reading for you to do. We have 35 of these. So if you're somewhere and you're trying to do something, cross-site scripting something, you're trying to fix it, we have all the information you need uh, curated by the experts in the field to help you do your job faster and more smoothly. We also have tools, and there's some pretty cool tools. There's the OWASP Top 10, which most developers at least have to say they know about. And these are the top 10 vulnerabilities in applications. Uh, we're coming out, the new RC content was released just last week, if you're interested in the new Top 10. Um, but we also have some cool tools like Dependency Check, which you can use to make sure the libraries you are bringing in to your code are actually secure. It will tell you which vulnerabilities you have to deal with there. We have App Sensor, which is actually just kind of cool because it actively tells you when you're being hacked and automatically starts processes to fix that. We have code libraries that you can download. These are the types of projects that, that we have, and you, as a developer, are absolutely welcome to join any of these types of projects and contribute your own items. The second part of OWASP is that we have chapters, and chapters are where I do a lot of my work. So, as you know, here in Israel, we have um, OWASP Israel, and they don't just put on this great training conference or a conference for tomorrow. They have regular meetings. Um, our chapters worldwide, we have nearly 400 of them. Um, they meet regularly, they have speakers that talk to you about interesting, cool, or niche items in security. They do trainings, they do mentorships. Um, your chapter is really a wealth of, of information for you, and it's open to everybody. Every event is free, every event is open, and you will find a welcoming home in your chapter. So we've been talking about the little parts of OWASP, 
But really what you should know is that OWASP is quite huge. Um, in our greater community, including chapters, the people who follow us on Twitter, the people who pop up to donate code to us and then disappear forever, we have about 80,000 people helping us to create um, a world that is going to be more secure for our children. Because sometimes it's easy to forget that our generation and our children's generations are the they're the first generations where all of their medical information might be available to some stranger before they are. They're the first generation who's not going to sit down with their boyfriend or girlfriend or husband or wife's parents to see their baby pictures. They're already out there. And so these are the things that we really need to, to focus on in making secure, security better. We do a lot of things. I'm just going to run through these last few a little bit more quickly. Uh, we have 88 plus uh, government and judicial and industry citations. We have over 100 academic supporters. These are universities who work with us to um, support the mission by offering us locations or training in their programs. We have over 40 corporate members. Um, and we have a membership base of uh, 2,400 people. Now, I know what you're thinking. How does OWASP do all of these things? Because we have 80,000 people who maybe they come and absorb our content, but how do we fund having 400 chapters and how do we fund having the largest penetration testing tool out there? Well, we do this with our members. Um, there are 2,400 people out there that think OWASP is so awesome that they're going to donate either 40 or $20 um, to us, and that money is split. The part of that money goes to the project or the chapter that they're asking to support. The rest of the money comes to the foundation, and what the foundation does is we make grants so that any chapter, no matter where they're located, who wants to do an event or um, bring a trainer in, has access to be able to do that. When you become a member, you get your OWASP email, of course, you get the right to vote and really try to drive um, what the industry is doing. But really what you get is like the warm feeling of knowing that you're concretely contributing to an organization that is working every day to make your life better. Oh, you, sorry, sorry. You also get a discount to all of our global events. Um, and I'm gonna come back to the global events in a minute because you're definitely coming back to join us in June, right? To, to see our global war worldwide event here in Tel Aviv. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so one of the things that I think is the most important that we do is we take these funds that our members give us and their energy and their time and we enable people to build and, and deliver products, trainings, me mentorships. So far this year, we've given out over a million dollars in order to help create programs like this free training that we've done in three places worldwide. Um, these are, this is the basics of what we do. And of course, every chapter is a little bit different. In a little bit, Avi's going to talk to you about the Israel chapter and what makes it special. Um, but definitely, you should, you should join us. We're completely open source. That means that all of our code is usable by you for whatever you want, as long as you don't make money on it. Um, we're completely open. You can access any OWASP event except for our two global fundraisers for free. No questions asked. And of course, when you become a member, we'll give you a $50 discount on those fundraisers. I'm sorry, I forgot the highlights. Um, so coming up next year, we are going to have um, AppSec Europe, which will be here in Tel Aviv during Cyber Week. It's going to be the most amazing event. Um, we also have the OWASP Summit, which is sort of like a conference, except we actually ask you to do a ton of work. So if you want to work but not get paid for it, we are there for you. Um, I really should have read this card earlier. <laughs> so I, I'm just going to fill in some details about our chapter, the Israel chapter. Um, as Tiffany said, we do host the yearly APSEC Israel uh, conference. It's usually around the holidays, uh, plus minus. 
usually trying to time it before the semester starts, but after the summer holidays. So you know, we try to time it around then. Uh, we have close to 1,000 users uh, on our uh, email distribution list. Um, that's where we give out the notices, uh, sometimes job postings, other things relevant to uh, the local industry. Um, that's the uh, uh, URL to join. Nobody's going to remember that, but you'll find it later. Um, we also have a meetup group. We are the eighth largest OS group in the world, by the way, so that's pretty cool. We have over 1,000 members. We have over 1,000 members on the meetup group. Um, as Tiffany mentioned, we also host uh, um, chapter meetings every two or three months, uh, give or take. Uh, Depends how it goes. Every two or three months we have a chapter meeting. It's usually a few hours in the evening, hosted by one of our uh, local companies. Um, we have two or three great, really technical, deep talks. Uh, it's a great place to meet uh, and network with the, uh, other people in the industry. Um, usually around 100, 150 people show up to these meetings, so that's, uh, that's pretty cool. Uh, in addition to that, we also have the Apps and Visual Conference, as mentioned, and we do a lot, other than a lot of people contribute to other projects, other OS projects. We have a lot of local projects which are based around localizing the uh, documentation that OS puts out. For example, we have the OS Top 10, which has been translated to Hebrew, which is very useful in a lot of organizations. We have a few other documents and projects that were also localized to Hebrew. Um, if you have other ones that you need in Hebrew for whatever reason, you know, let us know. We have Microphone died, so I'll just talk really loud. Okay, um, so if you need a, any documentation in Hebrew, let us know. We'll see if we can get one of the volunteers to join. Or better yet, why don't you do it and join us and uh, uh, help us translate some of the OS documentation. And there's a lot of them. Okay, so for example, the OS top 10, very good for management types, like to see a, a short top 10 list of what we need to do with security. We have uh, what's called a CISO guide, you know, what the security officer needs to know. We have a list of top 10 proactive controls, which are actually probably more useful for programmers. Um, and you know, a few other documentations like this, let us know what's going on. I'm going to throw up some links really quick, uh, flash them really quick before you can uh, memorize them. So we have the mailing list, we have the meetup, just search for OSP Israel, you'll find it. Uh, we're on LinkedIn, of course, we have a, a nice discussion group there. Uh, Facebook group also usually runs in Hebrew. And of course on Twitter, we're OSP underscore IL for uh, identity theft reasons. Uh, as mentioned, uh, AppSec IL for tweeting. Um, very important, we need your feedback. This is the first time we're doing the training. We need to know what was done good, what was done less good, or could be better, could be improved. So if you go on the website, if you go onto the agenda, you'll see a session for the training, or if you go straight onto uh, sked.org, you can go into there if you uh, are registered there, and all of you are registered. Uh, if you log in, you can put your feedback, uh, add uh, additional comments. We'll also send a general uh, survey, a couple, of, uh, just a very few questions about how we run the conference in general, other than the session itself. So please, please fill that out when you get that, and at the end of the day, fill out the uh, SCED uh, feedback and let us know uh, how that goes. Uh, with that, I will pass it on to your excellent trainer today. We have uh, Shai Chen from Effective Security. He's seriously one of the best trainers in the business. That's why we got him to do this. Uh, he didn't. He said no, actually. He, and then I asked him again, and he said no again. Uh, with some gentle pressure, I talked him into it. So he's going to take over now. And uh, I hope you enjoy this. One of the purposes here is not just for you guys to enjoy this and to get benefit out of this, but to take this back to wherever you work. And several people have already told me, well, my boss said I can only come if I tell them afterwards what I learned. Fantastic. That's exactly what we want. We want the network effect of the hundreds of people that are here to start writing more secure code and to get everybody around them to also know how to write secure code. It's really not that difficult, and Shai's going to show you what to pay attention to, and um, I'll shut up. Shai, please.